moons from now, there will come seven strangers to this sacred place. The strangers will carry the Inca's body away to their distant land But the divine curse will follow them wherever they go, over the mountains and beyond the sea. Hello? Sanders, how are you coming with the translation? I've just finished, but I think you should call the others. I think we've got a problem. Yes, Sanders? Sanders? What is it? Hello? Sanders? Sanders? Professor Sanders Hardiman, head of the famed expedition to the Andes, has been found in a deep coma in the study of his home near the university. There'll be more to come. You take my word for it. More? Yes, just like Tutankhamun. Remember all those Egyptologists who died mysteriously after opening the Pharaoh's tomb? It'll be the same with this expedition. I'm sure of it. Why can't we leave these people in peace anyway? What would we say if the Egyptians and Peruvians came over here and started digging up our kings? What then, hmm? Well, yes, I guess so. Captain. Yes, yes. Good day, sir. Excuse me for a moment. Nestor, another one, please. Coming, sir. Your monocle, sir. Thank you, Nestor. Tin Tin, my boy. What brings you here? Just dropped in for a visit. And how's Professor Calculus? Fine, fine. <coughs> here he comes now. He's looking for a Saxon burial ground. Hello, Professor Calculus. Tintin, my dear friend. Can you stay for a few days? I'm afraid not. I have to leave this evening. Fine, fine. Then we can have a nice visit. Come on, Tintin. We've got just enough time to see Bruno the Magician at the Hippodrome. He can change water into whiskey. Amazing! There are a few more acts before the magician. Zerati, the knife thrower. Yes, yes, he's marvelous. Signoras e signores, the feats I am about to perform are extremely dangerous. May I request total silence, please? <laughs> he seems familiar somehow. May I? Great snakes! It's General Alcazar! Who? General Alcazar! I knew him in South America! And now, Ragdalam the Fakir and Madame Yamala, who sees all and knows all! Madame Yamila, are you ready to answer me? Yes. First, I will put Madame Yamila into a hypnotic state. And now, Madame Yamila, can you tell me this man's first name? Jolion. Is that correct, sir? Why, yes. Jolion Bag, that's me. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. And his passport number? 38425. She's absolutely right. Bravo! Madame Yamila, can you tell me if this woman is married? Yes. Her husband is a photographer. Quite right. He returns from a distant land, but he is in pain. He is racked, racked by a mysterious illness. Nonsense. My husband is in perfect health. A deadly illness from which no one ever recovers. The vengeance of the sun god is terrible! <laughs> uh, 
ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for this interruption, but I have an urgent message for a member of the audience, a Mrs. Clarkson, who is requested to return home immediately. Her husband is very ill. This is ridiculous. It must be part of the act. I'm not so sure. Clarkson is the photographer who accompanied the Sanders Hardeman expedition. The what? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the show must go on with Bianca Castafiore, the Melody's Nightingale. <laughs> See her lovely eye look in this mirror. Oh, I love to see her lovely eye look in this mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about having a chat with General Alcazar? Good idea. Good evening, General Alcazar. Caramba, Tintin, amigo mio, what a pleasant surprise. And this is my friend, Captain Haddock. Delighted, senor. Descuida, non es la policia. Poor Chiquito. Ever since the police came to check our papers, he sees police everywhere. Of course, I understand. But tell me, General, what on earth are you doing in a variety show? Alas. Another revolution in my country, and that mangy dog, General Tapioca, has seized power again. I have to make my living somehow. <clears throat> I'd hate to miss that magician. Sorry, General. We have to go. It was good seeing you. Of course. Adios, amigo mio. I hope he hasn't started yet. <laughs> oh. Captain, look out! <laughs> Mustering typhoons. What's going on? Captain? Confound everything! No, my friends. What you see in the glass is not water, but whiskey. Would someone from the audience care to come on stage and... Following this mysterious story, yet another member of the Sanders Hardiman expedition has been found in a coma. Professor Reedbuck was discovered by police last night unconscious in his bathtub. Doctors are baffled by this mysterious illness and are studying other members of the expedition. And in related news, the police have just. Thompson and Thompson! Hello, team team! I just heard the report about Professor Reedbuck. Yes, dreadful business. What do you make of it all? It doesn't make sense. Three members of the same expedition all in a coma. It's very strange. Strange is the very word. Very strange, I might add. Look at this. Looks like broken glass. Broken crystal, to be precise. Found beside the victims. Fragments of broken crystal balls that the doctors say must have contained some sort of sleeping potion. Then these are deliberate attacks. But why? You'd better warn the other members of the expedition. Do you really think so? Yes. There's no time to lose. Do you have their numbers? Of course. Mark Falconer's first on the list. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Police? Yes. I just heard about Reedbuck on the radio. Fragments of crystal were found beside him and the others? By thunder. That means the Indian was right. No, I, I can't explain over the telephone. Where are you? Then you'll be right over? Good. What? The windows? Right. Goodbye. Windows? Yes, he wants us to warn the others to stay away from the windows. Hmm, then we'd better do as he says until we know what's going on. I'll call Professor Cantano. <laughs> Professor Cantano? Yes, speaking. Sir? My name is Tintin. 
I just spoke to your colleague, Mark Falconer, about these mysterious comas. He told me to warn you to stay away from the windows. The windows? It's very important, sir. But why? Oh! Professor Cantino? Professor Cantino? Professor? What was that crash? What's happening? Hello? Hello? Maybe this is Mr. Falconer. Here we are, sir. 26 Labrador Road. Hey, you there. We're here. Mr. Falconer? Mr. Falconer! Crystal fragments. They got him, too. And the mystery of the crystal balls continues as yet another member of the Sanders Hardiman expedition was found today in a deep coma. Of the seven original explorers, only Dr. Midge and Professor Tarragon have escaped the fate of their colleagues. Police are keeping a 24-hour watch on their homes and offices. Halt! We're on fire! I have a registered package for Dr. Midge. All right. Go on in, then. Package for you, Doctor. Ah! It's from my contact in Java. Probably a rare specimen of Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera, eh? A butterfly, if you prefer. Hold it right there. I'd better open this butterfly. It might be a bomb. A butterfly bomb? You never know. Meet me in the corridor. We have a suspicious package to examine. right -o. Keep calm. We must keep calm. That's it. Yes, keep calm. Watch out! Ah! Magnificent! Hello! Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. We're just defusing a butterfly. It's beautiful. Well, I see Dr. Mitch's door is well guarded. Who's guarding his window? I am, of course. Then what are you doing out here? Great Scott! Too late. Someone's out there! Go get him, Snowy! Hang on, Snowy! I'm coming! Uh, Snowy? All that fuss for a cat and our man gets away. Extraordinary. Quite extraordinary. Another victim. That makes six. No, I think it's a little more to the left. No, I said there's another victim of the crystal balls. Not quite, but almost. Oh, forget it. Oh, but this is incredible. Did you read this article? It says here that Dr. Midge is the sixth victim of the mysterious crystal balls. <sighs> Hello, Nestor. Tindin. Hi. Good save. Thank you, sir. Snowy! Never mind. Let's go join the professor. Good idea. What's he up to? He's reading to me at the moment. The police have taken measures to protect the last member of the expedition, Professor Tarragon. Tarragon? Tarragon. You know him? Not at all. He's an old friend of mine. We went to school together. Isn't he the one who has the actual mummy of Raskar Kapak that the expedition returned with? Oh, on the contrary. He's a delightful man. I could introduce you if you like. Yes, I'd like that very much indeed. Oh, nonsense. Why, we could go right now. Come along. We're here to see Professor Tarragon. We'll have to check your ID. Okay, you can go in. I'll escort you. Come in. Calculus. Hercule. Good old Cuthbert. <laughs> oh. 
Hercule, I've brought two friends to see you. Captain Haddock. Delighted. And Tintin, the famous reporter. Pleased to meet you. Snowy, what's the matter? <laughs> I think I know who frightened your dog. <laughs> Here's the culprit. Meet Raskar Kapak. He who unleashes the fire of heaven. We brought him back from the expedition. Sounds like we're in for a storm. That sounded like a shot. Did you fire that shot? No, but it came from close by. That came from the road. Be careful! False alarm. Just two of your tires that exploded in the heat. Blistering barnacles, and I've only got one spare. Don't worry about it. You can spend the night here, and we'll call the garage in the morning. The divine curse will follow them wherever they go, over the mountains and beyond the seas. This is extraordinary. Sanders had just finished translating the document when whatever it was attacked him. It's evaporated! The curse is coming true. It's only a matter of time till I'm next. Come now, Professor. It's not as bad as all that. Excuse me, Hercule. Read the rest of the curse. There will come a day when Raskar Kapak will bring down upon himself the cleansing fire. In one moment of flame, he will return to his true element, and punishment will descend upon the desecrators of his tomb. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The vengeance of the Inca will strike me down. It's witchcraft! Witchcraft? Perhaps. And yet... Come on, everybody! The house is well guarded. Nothing's going to happen. You're right, Captain. And it's getting late. I suggest we all turn in. Must have blown the window open. That's the captain. Blue blistering barnacles. I had a nightmare, a frightful night. Thundering typhoons. It's calculus. Oh, look out! He's there. He's coming after me. Is he gone? It was Raskar Kapak, the mummy. He was brandishing a huge crystal ball. Amazing. Amazing. I had exactly the same nightmare. You too? That's unbelievable. Look at Snowy. He certainly smelled something. What's the matter with your dog? That's Mr. Tarragon's room. Have you noticed something wrong? No, nothing at all. Do you think we should... Mr. Tarragon? Mr. Tarragon! Mr. Tarragon! There's no answer. Let's break the door down. Whoa! I only hope... It's okay. He's sleeping. The fragment's a crystal! 
Mr. Tarragon! Mr. Tarragon! Too late. The Crystal Balls have claimed their last victim. The curse of Raskar Kapak has come true.